I like to mix all this together. I mean, it's going down the same hole, coming out the same hole. Howdy, folks! Brainstorm's back with an in lunch snack to attack. Yep, everything's a snack to a fluffy fella. I'm sure I've talked about this ad nauseum. I'm sure I've shared similar insight before, but there is nothing like the pure happiness that gas station food in the South can give you. Now, there are some questionable things that gas stations sell, but there's a few gems out there that have really, really good delis and really good kitchens that produce some really good food. And this is when it's not that far away down the road from where I work. And every now and then, it might be about 12 bucks for this lunch three, as they call it. This L3 was meat and three veggies. Yummy goodness to the tummy goodness. I love all the things that they have. But look at this plate. This is a fluffy fella's best day right here when he wants to treat himself to some really good lunch. So let's see what we got. You can get cornbread or roll. I always like the bread. My, my dad loved the cornbread from this place. Some genuine flat, crispy cornbread. So you get a little peek under the hood. You got your utensils. You got your beautiful roll. I like to tear that into fourths, like four different pieces and use it to sop up that goodness. Hold that for me, ER. Let me lift the hood off this cover here where they separate the goodness from the other stuff. Now, I came in the, the end of their day when they were mostly g gone, but they still had some barbecue. So I got barbecue with rice underneath. So that's my meat and one of my veggies. So there's some really good cooked steamed rice, white rice under there. You can't see it, but that's all right. We got some cream corn and we got some green bean casserole. I don't think I've tried the green bean casserole from here. I usually get the butter beans or the uh, the, the collard greens, but they were out of those today. So I tried the green bean casserole. Sometimes their veggies change here and there, and this is in my face. But they always got the barbecue and rice, and that's usually my go-to. And some their, their, their butter beans here are just like grandma used to make. I never met my grandma, unfortunately, but my mom made some mean green beans, and just like mama used to make. And she's a grandma and a great grandma, matter of fact. But those green, those green beans are, are stellar, and the butter beans are even better, honestly. That's almost blasphemous. But they have some really great gas station food here in the South. Now, I ain't going to specify where it is or the name of the place because that don't necessarily matter. But if you ever find yourself out in the middle of nowhere with some awesome-looking gas station food, you should give it a go. and never You never know, so you should definitely give it a go. All right. The smell off of this is driving me crazy. Of course, I always got to get the extra BBQ sauce on that meat. I like to mix all this together. I mean, it's going down the same hole, coming out the same hole. Why not? But I don't care if my food touches. I don't have a weird thing about that. But look how good that is. You're lying and crying if you're saying that don't look good. Do they have it as good in the south? I mean, in the north, east, or west as they do in the south? I might be a little biased. But they seem to feed us good down here in the South. It's probably why most of the people down here are fluffy like me. You know what I'm saying? You like my new do? Yep, I like my new. If it's too long and I have to brush it, it's too long. I need to cut it. You know what I'm saying? If I got to brush it, it's too long. Yeah, that's where I am right now. But this barbecue rice, cream corn, whoo, smells so good. And a green bean casserole. That's what I'm having for lunch today. What are you having for lunch today? Are you jealous yet? Yeah. That's why you should give things a try in life you know you should get out there and taste the new each and every day try the new i challenge you to try the new each and every day because you never know until you know you gotta taste the spice of life and some things the best comfort foods are right there in your own backyard sure you could buy these things uh buy the ingredients and cook these things yourself probably cheaper and even even better and even tastier but i'm not a chef i got a whole hour for lunch i need to get something and get it good and eat it and I'm going to eat on that as soon as possible. Y'all have a great day. I'm glad I can share this happiness with you. This is just a happiness share because I enjoy finding awesome foods and sharing those with y'all. And this is my favorite lunch right here. Some actual vegetables with some barbecue and a little rice. I mean, that's just good, you know? It may be a lot, you know, but that's a pretty good plate right there for 12 bucks, if you ask me. Still got to get a drink, but that's all right. You can bring your own drink, like J-Mart says. But that is a great plate right there. I don't care what you say. I hope y'all enjoyed this little 
trip down happiness lane. I hope you enjoy all the content you see on the Brainstorm Challenge. Well, it used to be Challenge. The Brainstorm Snack Attack channel. Unleash your inner chunk out. Get you some merch on the merch store, guys. And if you enjoyed this fun happiness review, you should check out this video down here where I reflect on the champagne and caviar of the South, which is moon pie and RC Cola. That's the RC Cola moon pie memories right there, guys. Y'all check that video out. Tell me, let me know about the nostalgia of the childhood, the great times and memories and the favorites of our youth. Have a great day. God bless y'all. Check out that moon pie and RC Cola video down here, guys. But God bless y'all. See y'all next time. Get out there and enjoy and have a good lunch. Bye-bye.